Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a palette reveal because I just got in this box. So stay tuned and find out what I got in today. Okay guys, so like I said in the intro, we're doing a palette reveal today. We're going to be doing some swatches. We're going to talk about the palette and all of that. So before I get into it, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. So now with that said, on to the box that I got in. So I ordered a palette a few, about a week ago, almost. And it came in today. Actually, it's been one week. So one week ago, I ordered a palette. It came in today, and it is the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. I've already opened it. I couldn't help myself. Shoot me. So this is what it looks like in the box. That is just amazing. And now, here's the front cover. I actually love this this is amazing but it's very sturdy feeling it's very hefty and we're gonna get into it me personally I was so excited when I saw this I had to have it so this is what it looks like on the inside and for a gray black goth eyeshadow lover it is a dream so i'm going to do swatches of this palette we're just going to go straight across i'm going to show you the swatches and we're going to go from there i'm not going to do a look today because i'm doing a foundation test that you'll probably see before this video so now going on we're going to start with hearse angel of death grave digger Oh, that Angel of Death shadow is just beautiful. So we're going to go Hearse, Angel of Death, Grave Digger. Now then, you got to clean off the fingers. Oh, that black is just like there. It doesn't want to come off. Good thing. Okay, then we're going to go with Death Certificate, R.I.P., and Paul Bearer. Oh, look at that. Oh, those are beautiful. So, that is the first row, and they are stunning. Now, I know there was a huge controversy about this palette. You know, poor timing, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry, my opinion is if a palette triggers you that much, you got deeper issues than an eyeshadow palette. I mean, it is May, my father died just over a month ago from complications to lung cancer. And he was cremated and it was rough because due to the virus and everything we weren't able to have like a traditional viewing before he was cremated they only allowed 10 people in to view and it had to be like close family members it was rough because you don't really get that closure and i'm okay with a gothic death themed palette it does not bother me you know why i'm an adult and i realize that death happens yes it's happening a little bit more often right now because we are in the middle of a pandemic but get over yourself now with that said let's move on to inheritance wednesday and mortuary beautician really nice that is beautiful and I mean I may sound harsh about how people are doing this but also everybody's like well you shouldn't have released something and blah 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 I didn't see anybody jumping down Manny's ass when he 
released that blush palette right before this one came out. So I'm just, I'm a little over the whole freak out and people can't live their lives thing. It's getting a little old. So now we're going to go to Last Look, Solemnly Swear, and The Morgue. And for people, like, I mean, when you look at it in the pan, yeah, you can see, like, some of the shades do look familiar to each other. But that's monochromatic looks. They're, like, a step away. And just to prove that point, I have another black palette. I have the ColourPop Smoke Sessions palette. They kind of look the, similar. I mean, you know, some of these shades are just one step off from each other. It's called gradation. Again, people just seem to be like on this bandwagon of Cancel Jeffrey and oh my god, let's just freak out. But again, even if you don't like Jeffrey as a person, you have to kind of take the Nady stand on it and cut the people out of it and look at the makeup and grade the makeup. I love my Jeffree Star eyeshadow palettes, say or something that I reach for quite often, like today's, I looked at some of my eyes, it's the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. But, doesn't mean you have to support every single thing that he does, but let's also look at, when it comes to influ influencers, who's been giving money to people? Let's go to Mausoleum, Embalmed, and Eulogy. Again, very nice. I'm loving these like true grays, you know, greeny grays, brownie grays. I'm loving that. That is beautiful. Go on to life insurance, last respects, and goodbye. Very nice light tones. Very nice. But, I mean, I, I have a lot to say about that. I mean, I've, like I said, my father just passed. My daughter passed away five and a half years ago. And people using death as a reason to try to cancel someone is actually more grotesque than what they're trying to accuse him of. It, it's very annoying. I do not like it. I think everybody needs to grow up. All right, last row we have obituary, burial gown, and afterlife. These are very light and pretty. And then the last three is casket ready, death blow, and diamond ashes. Very pretty. That diamond ashes shade is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, what are my thoughts on the palette? Well, I love it. I'm going to be wearing the hell out of this palette because one, this color story speaks to me. I love blacks, I love grays, I love gradation of gray to a black, beautiful. Everything is the same quality that I expected. Everything feels very smooth, swatched very easily. And that is just something that I've come to know from this brand. I mean, I have the Androgyny palette, I have the Alien palette, I have the Bloodlust palette, I have the Mini Jawbreaker, I have the Conspiracy and the Mini Controversy. I love these shadows. If I want an eye look to look good and not crease and not fade, I'm going to reach for one of those. The color stories speak to me. They're very nice. The quality is very good. The packaging's very sturdy. 
it is very much something that I'm going to be reaching for. This one is actually probably going to replace something in my like most used eye palettes over here because this is going to be something I'm going to be reaching for quite often. So stay tuned for eye looks. I'm going to be doing you know, dark eye looks, light eye looks, medium eye looks because really and truly you can do a gray to black, you can do a white to gray, you can do, there's like this nice pinky shade right down here, you can do a very light look, you can do a medium look, and you can do a dark look. And that speaks to me. I really, really like that, and I'm very happy for this purchase. It was $58, and then taxes and everything, I paid $74 and I got it in a week. So very happy with this. Very proud to put this in my eyeshadow collection. And here soon, I'm probably going to do an update on my eyeshadow collection. I've given a couple of things away to a friend, kind of gotten rid of some things that aren't good anymore, things of that nature. So we're going to do an update on my eyeshadow collection. I do have another palette coming in, and I will let you guys know when it gets here. So in the comment section down below, let me know what you think, one, of the palette. That's the most important thing. What do you think of this palette? Two, what do you think about all the drama that was surrounding the palette's release? And three, would you purchase this palette? Have you purchased this palette? What do you think about it? in the description box down below. I will have my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email as usual, but there's also three ways to support this channel. Patreon, PayPal, and Mines, they're all linked down below. I also have a link for BoxyCharm and for Tribe Beauty. Neither of those are affiliate links. I get no income from them, okay? But if you wanna try out BoxyCharm, You'll get a free item by using my link. I'll get charms to shop in the charm room to bring more makeup and beauty items for you guys here on the channel. Try Beauty Box. You'll get 10% off of your first box if you use my link. And that's a bi-monthly box, so you'll expect to get great items by women-owned brands every two months. So with that said, guys, I'm going to end this video and go back and lay down because my head's hurting. But I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.